Now, I'm going to grab new fill adjustment and select solid color. And that is the color that I had selected. That's my foreground color. And if we zoom in, you can see where all those flyaway hairs appear to be selected. Some of them are not, and we can fix that later if we really want to, or in the end, you might not even notice it. So select a color that you would like. I believe I selected purple last time. So this time I'm going to select mm, that one. That's my color right there. All right, so I have aqua colored hair, only, well, maybe it needs to be a little bit less opaque. Here's our blending modes again. And depending on the color you choose will depend on which blending mode you use. These ones are pretty good. Um, one of these first two or color. So we'll test out all of them. This one is overlay, makes it pretty green. That one maybe is a bit more natural looking, the soft light and color down here brightens it up quite a bit. You do need to come back in and check a few areas where it appears that the color is on the shirt. That is a problem and so we will rectify that now. If it bothers you, you can come back in and go back over some of these areas too. I am not going to be bothered by that. <laughs> But let's go ahead and fix some areas around the shirt and you can decide how much you want to do. So this is the color. Should you not like the color in the end, you can come back in here and you can change that color anytime you like. And there's my blue violet there. That's good too. Okay, never mind. I'm going blue violet. Okay. So, um, you can come down here and click on this one. Remember, this one is the one where you change the color. So this is your mask. A mask is something that covers the picture. So right now, the black part is the mask and the white part is what shows through. This is the color. So everywhere where you see white, and if I alt and click, you can see all of that just the way it is on here. Everywhere that it's white, is where the mask shows through, is where you see that blue violet. And back to the way it looks, that's how the mask works. So if I want to cover this spot right here where my shirt looks blue, I would need to paint with black. Only I probably wanna have a regular brush and probably a soft edged brush. And I'm just gonna kinda click in here a little bit cause I don't wanna get rid of all of the color cause I do have some flyaways in there. So it's gonna give it the illusion of them all being colored. That's better. All right, let's zoom out and see. Okay, now, if I'm feeling very peckish, then I can come back in and I can paint these back in. And since black makes it so that you don't see the purple, then white will make it so that you do see the purple. Hmm. Well, if I paint with white, something should happen, but it's not. So give me a second. And I see my problem. I have multiply selected. So you want to have it on normal <laughs> and now it should work just fine. There it is. There's always a reason why something doesn't work. It's just a matter of finding out that reason. All right, I believe I'm going to be finished. Like I said, I am not going to do anything with these because they're kind of in the shadow and they don't bother me all that much. If they bother you, then you may certainly go over and fix them. And that is how you change the color of the hair.